What's going on Guardians, it's Tizzle here. In this video, I just wanted to give a quick heads up on a few things you'll want to do today or tomorrow before the servers go offline for Witch Queen. The first thing is you want to get your characters loadout ready for what you want to be running when Witch Queen goes live. The reason for this is because things like Destiny Item Manager or the Bungie Companion app are never working on the day of a launch. So you want to have your builds ready for when you load into the Witch Queen. Personally, I will be running all Void 3.0 loadouts on my Hunter Titan and Warlock. So I've gone ahead and gotten those builds all set up so I am ready to hit the ground running. The smart thing to do would also be to have a variety of weapons on your main character that you will be playing when Witch Queen goes live. But what I have done is I only have the weapons I will use equipped. And then in my character inventory slots, I have all the weapons I am going to be deleting. And then once they are deleted, I can go to the vault and pull out my good weapons that I have sitting in there. Just like the good old days before the companion apps. The reason for this is because with Witch Queen, we are getting weapon crafting, so I have actually been holding on to legendary weapons to delete when Witch Queen goes live in the hopes that they will drop some materials. So if you are still doing some last minute farming, I would recommend hanging on to any legendaries so you can dismantle it for new resources. Chances are you have cleaned out your vault so you probably have some space to hang on to legendaries. You can also fill your postmasters with legendaries, so if you still have to collect engrams from Shax or the gunsmith, then you can just send a bunch to the postmaster so they don't take up space on your character or in your vault. Just be sure to always keep an eye on how much you have in there as you don't want to lose a stack of ascendant shards. The last tip I have is also quite important. You want to remove every single artifact mod from all your armor. The reason for this is in the past if you had one of these mods equipped it would be unavailable to you the next season. This happened to me with hand cannon targeting. I had it from the artifact and then I couldn't equip it the next season until Bungie came out with a patch. So go through all the armor on all your characters and remove these. And don't forget about armor in the vault either. That's pretty much all I have for you. I just wanted to make this quick reminder video for you all as I thought it may be helpful. And if it was, then a like and subscription would be greatly appreciated. I am now fully prepped for Witch Queen, so I'll be doing some real life prep in the next couple days so I can go ham on the new content. Thanks for watching and take care.